My name is Joey Thurman. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I played sports my entire life. Um, baseball, soccer, hockey, hockey through college. I switched my major several times and senior year I decided I don't want to go to law school. I don't want to get the crap kicked out of me and I like my teeth. I happened to run into the physiology professor. So I did an understudy program with him and realized well, this, I like doing this and I got in my yellow convertible Mustang and drove to Chicago and interviewed at a couple places and got my first training job. Worked for a corporate gym and then switched to a higher paying corporate gym and eventually go out on my own and train people on my own. And then I'm good with people. Started training some people that knew some news anchors. So then I started doing TV segments in Chicago. I started training more celebrities when they're shooting something. I'm one of the few trainers that they give a call to, to get their stars in, in shape or ready for a role as fast as humanly possible. You know, I was training people in person 10 to 15 sessions a day, uh, traveling to New York, LA, everywhere, hosting events multiple times per month. And COVID hit, it was just a huge shock. My clients started dropping off, they started training less, then the gym shut down and I was forced to stop working. So for a couple months, I was in a deep depressive state and we were just basically locked in our condo in downtown Chicago. Like, you know, I was obviously not making any money, really. There was a point where I was on unemployment this year. I went from making a lot of money in fitness to not having anything. Because I mean, life sucks sometimes and we just, we want, we want that graph to go up, but it's not linear. Weight loss isn't linear, happiness, happiness isn't linear. But as long as we're aware of that, I think that's how we really separate ourselves and how we keep moving forward. People look at all of these crazy workouts and crazy exercises and jumping, backflip, twist, whatever. Yeah, that's cool on video, but that person didn't start doing that. You know, I get all sorts of questions like, I should do this or what should I do for my abs or whatever. Like, did you start working out yet? Did you do the basics? The basics get missed in fitness. So that's why in my program, I'll start with the circuit one. We've got the basic foundational exercise. There's five that are abdominal core trunk focus specifically, and then there's five that also incorporate the mini band as well. Just using a simple loop mini band, we get the entire body involved. What's great about my partnership with OpenFit is they allow me to create something of my own. I started doing my program weeks before as I was writing this up. And I never did this much abdominal focus. And now I, my back feels great. My abs are coming in in different areas that they haven't before. People look at fitness as being a chore, as some sort of punishment. This is a reward. This is something you get to do. How amazing is that? I mean, think about that. You get to get up and you get to work out. You were able to press play on your life. That's amazing. You need to feel good to look good. Do you wanna live better? You wanna look better? You wanna live longer, healthier? Work out. That's your reward.